I'm Mike Huckman at the BioBus Center, and it's a pleasure to welcome the newly installed chairman of the Biotechnology Innovation Organization, as well as the CEO of a company called Alnylam Pharmaceuticals, Mr. John Mariganori. John, it's great to have you here. Thank you, Mike. So, as the newly elected chairman of this organization, there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of topics that are facing this particular sector, the life sciences. What are your top priorities? Well, thanks Mike for that question. We have a lot going on as a, as a sector. Within the pharmaceutical th therapeutics area, uh, a major priority is to make sure that we continue to advance our patient-focused drug development agenda with the FDA. So to that end, we have 21st Century Cures and the implementation of that. Uh, the new that. legislation that was passed that essentially makes it more efficient to bring a new therapy to patients. Yes, and, and also more importantly as well, to bring the patient voice into the overall discussion of drug development. So we're working uh, closely with the FDA on the implementation of 21st Century Cures. Then we also have PDUFA-6, which is hopefully going to be authorized in the next few weeks by Congress, uh, and the implementation of PDUFA-6 thereafter. Now in addition to that, a major part of what we're doing at BIO is our values campaign to really be out there to help educate the world around the value of innovation coming from our industry. John, as the CEO of a relatively small company that you have grown into a company that is now valued by the market, I believe, at more than $7 billion, but still remains on that relatively long journey of discovery to therapeutic development and hopefully someday to delivery of that therapy, what perspectives do you bring to the bio board table? Well, we know how long it takes uh, and how much money it takes and how much persistence and time. And it, so it is, a, uh, it, is a, um, it is a perspective that we can provide around how challenging this is to take transformational science, Nobel Prize winning science, and to make new medicines out of it. And Elnilam really is um, you know, a poster child of that, of that endeavor. Uh, and so as we now become a commercial company, uh, it, it's important for that perspective to also inspire thinking around how the value uh, reward occurs, right? So we've been through this 15 years odyssey of, of bringing science forward, now having new medicines, and so now we look forward to rewarding our investors as well. And so that journey is so much like many, many other companies in the biotechnology space. Besides a presidential tweet, what are some of the top challenges you think that are facing life yeah. sciences right now? Well, we have a significant challenge around the whole public debate and political debate around drug prices and value. And of course, we need to focus this discussion on innovation, on the value of medicines that we provide, and also on the access of these medicines to patients. It's, it's, it is very, very important that we help educate the public around the importance of the innovation that we deliver and the fact that we have a social contract with, with in our country where the medicines we pay for today are essentially free for our children and our children's children. John, you were one of the lead CEO authors of a recent protest letter regarding the so-called travel ban. The president has said, despite the court defeats, that he still stands by that proposal. Um, why will you and perhaps Bio or the life sciences sector continue to speak out against it? Well, we ultimately develop medicines for patients of all diversity and, and, and you know, all religions and all sexes and, and all genders. And, and so we have to um, have our, within our companies, okay, the best minds, the best people from regardless from where they come from and what their orientation is and where they're, where they're from. And so we need to have a diverse environment within our companies to be able to do best for patients. And so for Alnylam and also Bio, we're very committed to that diversity. We're very pleased at Bio to have uh, launched our workforce uh, development and diversity and inclusiveness initiative just at this meeting uh, today. The theme of this year's meeting, as you well know, is breakthrough. Breakthrough to what? To RNAi therapeutics that will make an enormous difference for patients' lives. John Mariganori, thank you for being here at the Thank Bio you, Bus Michael. Center.